Hey everybody, so today I'm here because I wanted to do another review on a product that I picked up from the store. Now, I went to Target the other day and I ended up picking up some chocolate chip cookies. Um, they were in the frozen aisle. I believe they were between three and five dollars. I believe I got them on a discount or a sale. You know how Target does. And I picked these up. It says they're macaroni, honestly delicious, gluten-free cookies. Now, it says delicious, but let's be real. And it, past reviews I have been doing. Don't remind me of the chocolate chunk muffin that I picked up from uh, Target, which was horrible experience. So I wanna give these a chance because not all gluten-free uh, foods are horrible. And to be honest, I'm making my own. The other day, I tried making my own chocolate chip cookies, which ended up turning to be more of a cake. So I might actually just turn that recipe into a cake and share it with you all. But if you all are interested in how the review is, definitely tag along and um, let's see if they are delicious as they claim. So here we are, we have our chocolate chip cookies. As you can see, it's called the Immaculate Honestly Delicious Gluten-Free Chocolate Chunk Cookies. Um, I picked these up from the store, like I mentioned earlier, and I wanted to just see how these look. Um, you know, you think they're gonna look a certain way and they don't, but let's go see. Okay. Too bad. I'll be honest, they look similar to the um, ones that um, I make here. I make my own uh, chocolate chip cookies. And let me see if these taste. Let me see. I'm gonna get a, a bite. Wait a minute. It don't taste that bad. It don't taste that bad. We will see. I am gonna cook all 12 of these. And to be honest, let's be honest, I might eat all these tonight. I'm not gonna try. But from what I do see, uh, they are kind of more thicker than your usual uh, ones you see. Usually, the ones I pick up, they may be a little. They might be uh, seventy-five percent smaller than this, maybe a little lesser. But this is kind of thick. And I'm assuming these cookies going to be big, or they will span. So <sighs> we will see how these taste. I also want to show you all what's in here. They come in there like that. I'll be honest. I don't know why I disregard the whole 12 in the pack label. I don't know why I thought it'd be more here, but yeah, this is just about it. And I think these would be delicious. So I have my little pan I made. I actually put aluminum foil over a piece of uh, cut out box that I got from my previous uh, pizza gluten-free review. And I put some aluminum foil around that. And I've been doing this with this, using it as a, a baking tray. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna Put some chocolate chip cookies on it. I'm gonna put one in the center. I don't, it don't seem like with this I can put much on here, but we're gonna try. And we're going to, uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can put five or six on here. So, that looks like a, that'll be it. And you know what? This is probably all I need for the day because I'm greedy and I will eat all of these in probably within 30 minutes or less. So, that's all. And what I'm gonna do is put these in the oven for about um, 15, the directions say about 14 to 17 minutes. I'm just gonna keep an eye out because I have noticed with gluten-free food, they cook pretty quick. Um, and I have the oven set to 350. So I have my chocolate chip cookies that I'll be putting in the oven right now. I have the oven set to uh, 350. I'm gonna keep an eye on these and just see um, how long it'll take for them to bake because I have noticed that this stuff tends to cook much quicker than what is on the label. But we're gonna see, I hope it don't spread all out, but this should be enough. I'm gonna put this in the oven now. Okay, believe my cookies are done. Let me go check, see how they are. Okay, this seems a little dangerous, forgive me. Okay, this is how they turned out. So the cookies are done. I left them in the oven for about a good 17 minutes. I did check up on them and I felt like they were still kind of gooey. Um, but right now they look like they're ready. And I did think that they would have spread it out, but it kind of like spread and then puffed up. Um, 
I don't know if they burnt or not. I didn't know that they need to finish cooking inside because when I initially tried to touch it, it felt like it was not done, but it looks like it's done. You can see they're pretty much gooey. Let me pull one out. I want to show you all. Hope you all can see. Hope it'll clear up. Yeah, that's a cookie. Looks kind of delicious. I'm, looks like it's, it's, it's pretty much done. I want to open it so y'all can see it. See what it looks like an inside. Hope it's done. Let me see. Okay. So that's what it looks like in the inside. That's just pretty much it. That's what it looks like on the inside. There we go. And I want to try, I want to take a bite of the cookie now. So what I have here is a cookie, as you can see, and I want to take a bite of this. Um, let me go try this now. Hmm. These are actually good. Now, I will say, I do feel like they could be left in the oven like for another two minutes, but they're fine. They're fine as they are. I will do the whole 17 minutes. Take them out the oven, let them set. But so far, I like the consistency and the texture of the cookies. Um, that's good. That's delicious. If I go back to the store, I'll probably get some more. But I probably don't need to do that anymore because I actually make my own cookies. So, if I had to give these a rating, I would give them a, uh, a four out of five, actually. They're delicious, they're good. Um, did they meet my expectations? Sort of. <laughs> but um, they're delicious, they're good, and I would recommend them. So, with all that being said, if y'all enjoyed this video, this review, definitely like, subscribe, comment below, and I'd like to um, do some more reviews in the future. I'd actually like to um, show you how I make some of my um, gluten-free snacks. So, with that, I hope y'all enjoy yourselves, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.